In this presentation, two different APAP devices are connected to a breathing simulator and tested for their responses to a simulation of the same typical OSA patient. The devices tested are ResMed's S9 AutoSet device and the Philips Respironic Sleep Therapy System, the Remstar Auto APAP device. Each device is set to its lowest minimum pressure, highest maximum pressure, and maximum comfort setting, which is three for both devices. The patient is considered effectively treated when the median pressure reaches approximately eight centimeters of water. The first two traces show respiratory flow and the measured mass pressure from a patient using ResMed's Mirage Swift FX nasal pillow system and the S9 auto set device. The second two traces show respiratory flow and the measured mass pressure from a patient using Respironics OptiLife nasal pillow system and the Remstar auto APAP device. After a period of time, the patient experiences the first apnea. During an apnea, the S9 auto set and the Remstar auto device use different techniques to detect if an event is central or obstructive. ResMed's enhanced auto set algorithm now incorporates the central sleep apnea CSA detector. This uses a forced oscillation technique, FOT, to determine whether the airway is open or closed during an apnea. Small oscillations in pressure are added to the current device pressure. The CSA detector uses the resulting flow and pressures to measure whether the airway is open or closed. If the airway is closed, there will be little or no flow and fluctuations in mask pressure will be little diminished. Recognizing this as an obstructive event, the device will increase treatment pressure in proportion to the severity of the event. However, if the airway is open, there are much smaller fluctuations in mask pressure and there will be a relatively large flow response. Recognizing this as a central apnea, the device will not increase treatment pressure. In this instance, the S9 auto set detects that the apnea is obstructive. To detect if an event is obstructive or central in nature, the Remstar auto device sends a two centimeter square wave pressure pulse that lasts for two seconds at intervals during the apnea to investigate the upper airway. Both patients take several deep breaths to end the apnea, which is typical of an arousal. The S9 auto set detects that the apnea is obstructive and responds by increasing the treatment pressure by approximately three centimeters to seven centimeters. The Remstar Auto detects that this event is obstructive, yet shows no response to this first apnea. Both patients have a second obstructive event. The S9 Auto Set detects that the second apnea is obstructive and responds by increasing the treatment pressure to approximately 9.5 centimeters. The Remstar Auto increases the pressure by only one centimeter to five centimeters in response to the second apnea. This pressure increase is not enough to prevent the Remstar Auto patient experiencing a third apnea. The S9 Auto Set detects there is evidence of a slight flow limitation in the breath shape and increases the treatment pressure to prevent further apneas and flow limitation. We now see the S9 patient has achieved normal rounded breaths, while the Remstar Auto patient suffers a fourth apnea. The S9 auto set has achieved a stable airway with a treatment pressure of approximately 12.5 centimeters within three minutes. The Remstar auto patient suffers a fifth apnea. The S9 auto set continues to monitor the patient's breath shape on a breath by breath basis and adjust the pressure to maintain a stable upper airway. The Remstar Auto patient continues to have apnea after apnea for a further nine minutes. In total, the Remstar Auto patient has 13 obstructive apneas before the Remstar Auto device reaches a treatment pressure of 10 centimeters. 
at a treatment pressure of 10 centimeters, there is still evidence of flow limitation in the breath shape. It takes a further 12 minutes for the Remstar Auto to reach a final treatment pressure of 14 centimeters and eliminate all evidence of flow limitation. By this time, the S9 Autoset patient has had a stable airway for over 22 minutes. To conclude, let's take an overall look at the respiratory flow and pressure traces for each device. The S9 Autoset reached a final treatment pressure of 12.5 centimeters within three minutes of the patient's first apnea. Remstar Auto reached a final treatment pressure of 14 centimeters approximately 25 minutes after the patient's first apnea. The S9 patient experienced only two apneas, while the Remstar Auto patient experienced a total of 13 apneas.